How's it going? This is Cole Rolfin. Welcome back to RimWorld Royalty. So, like I said, I was going to go through in between episodes and change everyone's apparel or just uh, make sure everyone's uh, clothing is set up correctly so you may see a lot of them run around and change stuff. I did also set um, Stefan. When he wakes up, he'll take off that uh, coronet. It didn't seem right, uh, you know, for the for the queen to have a lady's hat and the prince to have a coronet. So he'll be changing that out. I did set up a job to make him a a, a top hat, a gentil top hat. There we go, and a cape, and then obviously a corset for Violet, and he'll, Stefan will have the formal vest. So there we go. You know, um, it would be nice for a few other animals to come onto the map and uh, get a few other leathers. But uh, most of the stuff right now is going to be made out of plain leather. That's kind of what we got a lot of. All right, and did set up a bunch of jobs, you know, to pull up floors and things. I'm not sure what Kish is off to. She's going to keep... Uh, oh, she's going to start building the roof over here. Okay, good, yes. Let's get this thing set up. We want to get that one set up. Looped into the power grid, and then we'll probably work on that one afterwards, but, uh... No, actually, we do have enough steel. Well, I guess between adding more turrets to the combat zone, we're gonna go through a lot of our steel that we've got, but that's... that's fine. So that's the, uh, plan. Oh yeah, there's Stefan, without his... without his hat. Who is making, uh, purple's making clothes. Okay. Well, that's fine. In the morning. Or, I guess, uh, when everyone wakes up, she'll probably get on that. That is fine. Kish, why are you sleeping over there? We, we've made this uh, nicer bedroom for you. I mean, it's decent. It's not uh, impressive. But, um... Now, let's assign that to you. There you go. There you go. Sorry about that. Sorry to wake you up. But uh, this is supposed to be for guests. I mean, I know it's a dirt floor. The whole place is a dirt floor right now. But we're working on it. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll make a decent place of this yet. Exotic goods trader. Oh, and Sister Purple is here. Okay. Well, that's good. We can we can dump off. Well, hopefully we can dump off some of this junk we've been accumulating. We haven't too. We haven't had too many traders. Not too many traders. Where are they? Where are you guys? Uh. Whoa, prisoners. No, you're escaping. Oh. Someone dropped off berries at the door and just uh, said, hey, that's fine. Um, uh, who's closer between Stefan and Ox? They're the two melee guys. There's Ox. Um, let's see. Yeah, here, let's have the two of you try to arrest or go over here. Hey, Val, can you catcher as well? No? You're not going to automatically do that? I don't want you to do it. Alright. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so what just happened was, she stopped escaping because Val came in, but um... Uh, okay, so we got a 75% chance. But uh, yeah, because Val came in, that stopped her from escaping. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was not supposed to escape. And then Val walked out with the berries still there. And um... Okay, well, someone else will get the berries in a second. Here, can you try to arrest Stench, please, Stefan? And Ox, you just kind of follow him behind as backup just in case. Uh, okay. Hey, Ox, try to knock her down, please. There we go, thank you. Ah, uh, there we go. Oop, there. There we go. Are you picking up the consuming meal? Well, fine. That works. Just get the berries out of there, please. No, no, no. Get... <laughs> um, here, Violet, can you... Can you just haul the rest of the berries? There we go. Stefan's gonna self-tend. Hey, Zippy, are you... Who's gonna attend a stench here? Ooh, right middle finger. Is anyone gonna attend her? Stefan, come on. I know. Oh, Mila is? Uh, okay. Yeah, you can use some doctoring skills. Yep, okay. Okay, that's fine. 
Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure we don't have food binge because you're drowsy. Probably because I woke you up in the middle of the night or the middle of the morning. Fine. Fine. It's going to be fine, I guess. All right. Well, still want to get this... Uh, done here, 75% grown. I am on a lookout for, well, any berry bushes that are in our area. I think I've set a bunch of them to be harvested just to get a few more um, raw food because they're kind of running low again. Seem to be having trouble. And one thing I was thinking of, oh, there's the, there's the caravan. Yeah, okay. Here, let's, um, where are you guys going? Let's trade with these guys. Over here? Really? Such a bad spot. <laughs> Such a bad spot to pick. This is a much better spot over here. Okay, well, whatever. Um, yeah, so I guess while we're running over doing that, I was thinking we should we should put a border around here, a wall around here, and then um, farm in that area. Okay, so what do we what do we got? Yeah, nothing we can. They're, they're not actually going to want a bunch of our stuff. That is too bad. I'm not going to be able to unload anything to them. Well, I only have 569 silver. It'd be lovely to get a few of these things. You know, but we really can't afford it. We could afford a Glitter World Met or two. You know, just in case. I can get all three. Yeah. Oh, side focus trainers. Yeah, they're pretty much all our stuff. Yeah. Okay. We'll just go with that. There we go. We'll just go with that. Glitter meds and probably make sure that we set everyone to um, just industrial tech so they don't... Uh, no, it doesn't get used up on a bruise or something. <laughs> something absolutely silly like that. Still complete, make a top hat. There's your top hat, Stefan. Where is it, actually? Um, what? I'm not saying... Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. All right. But yeah, and I also set this uh, storage area just so it'll only hold clothes that we want to actually wear. There you go, there's a jaunty chapeau for you. And, um, yeah, so set, set this one at 56% because I've got all their uh, clothes assignments set to 55% before they change that out. I find I like 55%. I know the, um, the debuff for Tattered Apparel doesn't show up until 50%, but I find 55% is kind of like a nice balance between the clothes still have some value. So when you sell them, you can get a little bit of coin for them, and it provides a little bit of a buffer, so they don't get the debuff for a couple seconds, and then change the clothes out, and then have that debuff stay on them for a little bit. It's kind of like eating without a table. It's not, it's not a lot, but <laughs> it's it's really annoying when it's enough to push you over the edge. Quest available. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Hand. Okay, what's the, what's the, um, inspires in one day. She's traveling, she's been following by tribes people, and wants to help, signals draw them away. If you do, there's a psychic suppressor machine turned to the male gender. And an enemy outpost guarded by three tribes people. Hmm. Uh, oh, they left a gift. Birdskin ladies hat and a alpaca wool cowboy hat. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Um, yeah, we should get that hauled in. Um, cool. Uh, field hand, psychic reader, Heltex hat. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Um, we are getting a psychic reader for the quest that we're doing first. Um, taking care of Stench and Anna for a little bit. Psychic sensitizer increases her psychic sensitivity. The big thing is, yeah, it's it's like it's an outpost and we have no food. 
So we're not really in a position to go and do that. Okay, well, we'll leave it for a little bit. Are we? We're not, um, just noticing this. Yeah, we're not supposed to have roof there, right? Yeah, okay, it's just the way it's grayed out there. It's kind of hard to tell, but yes, there is no, there is no roof there. Okay. Uh, berserk, stench is berserk as she's hot. Um. Ah, dear Stefan, can I get you to um, knock her out again, please? Where's Ox? Ox, can I get you to... Oh, it's come to an end? Oh, okay, good. Okay, so Anna took care of things for us. Alright, well, go back to just capture her then. And just a bruise. Okay, you can... No, 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 no. Here, let's... You're right here. Uh, Zippy can do the other one. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's heal these people. I mean, I guess I probably could have left that. Probably could have left that because one of other doctors might have been on the way. But I don't know. Just had such a bad ex bad luck with doctors this this run. Uh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Might not be a bad idea to put a, um, oh, it's 45 degrees. Yeah, we've got a heat wave that showed up um, just in between cuts, basically. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of hot around here. Oh, good, the heat wave is over. <laughs> that will definitely help things out. Just you know, keep moods in a better place as well. You know. And plant more crops again. Uh, some of them growing up, which is uh, good, been maturing. But uh, yeah, we're kind of a little low on uh, food right now, and um, yeah. Okay, well that's good. That is good. We've also got the first little bits of materials going in for our geothermal generator. Excellent. Good, good, good. Yeah, because. Once that's done, we can, um, we'll have the power budget to, well, add more lights around places, add more coolers and places. Good things. All good things. Oh, dear. I'm not sure why we kind of run out of slate, but why is no one making more? Why aren't, why aren't we making more? Huh. Well, I'll have to keep an eye on that, I guess. I mean, right now, everyone's going to sleep, which makes sense. But... Really, that is something we should be either pulling in materials, yeah, hmm, pulling in or uh, crafting some. I guess we don't have any. I guess we don't have any slate chunks. Oh no, we've got some. We do have some slate and some sandstone chunks. So yeah, just need someone to work it. Oh, oh, we got our geothermal generator done. Oh, okay, good. I hadn't noticed yet. It must have just happened. All right, so let's see. Uh, oh, that comes right to the door. That's kind of unfortunate, but uh, oh well. We'll just run it through here. It'll run it um, right by the battery room, which will be fine. I'm just thinking, depending on how we set that up, we may not want a power conduit through here. Um, it's good to have the batteries on a separate circuit. Uh, so you don't, so it'll blow up, so your z events are not as explosive. <laughs> but, eh, we'll figure that out. We got the door inside here, so if we put the switches on this side and the batteries lined up here, we can probably, we might be able to run power through here and not have the batteries touch, and that'll be great. Okay, well, will figure it out. But yes, I'm putting the uh, the back wall along here, and then we'll start putting the flooring in, because the throne room needs to be floored. <laughs> My nemesis, floors, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, it's such a small little... They don't mind too much if there's no floors. I mean, they it's not as beautiful, it's not as nice, and they don't like it that much, but it's. Uh, I find it's not enough. I find you can kind of get away with it for a little while and just, eh, just do dirt floors and... 
they won't be too fussed about it. And then when you get to the point that you can actually put the effort in, put down to, uh, put down proper floors, then great. <laughs> All right, Mila, what are you what are you doing? Oh, okay, you're, someone's deconstructed a little bit of that, and uh, you're bringing back in. Okay. That is fine. Purple is still working on chunks. Good. That's why we've got some slate to do this work. And then, yeah, I guess we'll be switching over to marble. Which we don't have a lot of. We can de deconstruct this, I guess. You know, we don't really need it anymore, and it's uh, kind of in the way, if anything else. Yeah, maybe we'll just set it to be deconstructed now. There we go. I'll probably leave the flagstone there for... Well, for a little bit. It's within the base, so it's fine. It's not uh, It's not hurting anything, and it'll... People will walk around faster because of it. Because that it is there, so... You know. That's good. Alright. Well, I guess... Hmm. We got our clothes mostly sorted out. I mean, you can see we're missing a few hats, but uh, no one's got a tattered apparel debuff. No one's complaining about that. Violet, uh, we made a new uh, cape. Mainly it was the idea was for us to fan, but eh, whatever. We made it for Violet, and uh, and she's wearing it. It's a little bit more uh, recent, a little bit newer. Okay, shaman merchant. Violet, if you're up... Oh, you're sowing plants. Good. I've been wondering why you haven't been getting back to this, but... Okay. Um, playing billiards. How are you doing for mood? You're doing great. Okay, come on. Let's uh, chat with these guys, see if we can... See if we can sell stuff. We're gonna go up here? Such a bad spot. I wish... I mean, I understand why there isn't a trader spot in vanilla. Because it could be exploited really, really easily. Um, to nefarious purposes. <laughs> but there is something to be said for, hey, could you guys meet us down at the, the bottom, not up here? Oh, these shamans don't trade what I thought they would. Okay. Well... I mean, we could sell you some glitter world, some uh, herbal meds. I'm not going to send you the sell you the glitter world meds. But they don't want to buy anything else, and we don't have enough for that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to leave it at that. Sorry, we don't really want to trade any of that stuff. And we don't want donkeys. We're okay, thank you. <laughs> good. 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 I don't want to put down the uh, flooring job yet until, you know, until they get that done and probably get this done just to keep them focused. And... Yeah, how are we doing for bills here? It's going to be slate, then sandstone, then marble. Probably switch that around a little bit. But I do want um, the geothermal vent to be enclosed. Oh, wow. We hadn't made a formal vest yet? Oh, yeah, I guess Stefan isn't wearing it. Okay. I thought we'd finish the uh, clothing jobs already, but I guess not. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, let's get this thing hooked up. Let's get this done and connected in. I mean, obviously we still need to get this section done, but I, we do really need to block the uh, geothermal vent off. Otherwise, it's going to be a prime spot for raiders to come and uh, bust up. They really like going after your... Uh, your power generation, especially if it's outside of the base. Gargle pods. What? Oop. It was over here. <laughs> Clicked off. It didn't mean to. Is this it here? Yeah, it looks like it. Guinea pig fur. Well, okay. There are guinea pigs on the map. Um, not as familiar with guinea pig fur, if it's any good. I mean, I don't imagine it is, and it kind of looks like it's... Yeah, its beauty is really high. Right. So it's kind of like a chinchilla fur. I hadn't really looked into its stats. Haven't, didn't really expect too much. But, yeah. Looks like it's going to be similar to a, little, a few other high-value furs like fox and uh, chinchilla and stuff like that. Oh, great. Mila's on a tantrum. She's going to 
destroy this grand steel. Well, <laughs> it's not great, but uh, I'm not gonna mind. I'm not gonna mind losing it. So okay, I guess if that uh, if that gives you catharsis, you punch this thing. Ah, we got a big raid. <laughs> uh, attacking immediately using incredibly clever tactics. They're dumping on Ox's room. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, and looking at the time, I think we're gonna have to leave it here. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Take care.